Welcome back, everybody. Uh, you know, we made a made a few small mistakes last go around. That's why auto save exists. <laughs> auto, auto, everything. All right, new tactic. Apparently, literally, there's just a bunch of heavy camels and a few hussars hanging around this area right now for some reason. Don't know why. Wish I could tell you. Okay, we're gonna try and build a dock here on the Mediterranean and use that as our way of getting to the Pope. Bring you back over. Alright. Still on the lookout for some scholars, though. Some very scholarly scholars. Right. I would imagine that we have arrived in the Riviera. <laughs> Just Tower City over here, man. Right. Anything here in northern Spain? Doesn't look like it. Wait, that doesn't even include Charlemagne. Alright, I have this war galley go ahead of us just to make sure we don't run into a trap. And we'll make our way down Italy. Ooh, that's a big scary army. That sounds like an army that could defeat my brother. Carl, that kills people. Yeah, <laughs> like I was just Pope. Hello, 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 hello. Paging Mr. Pope. Pope, comma, the. He will fight with holy vigor. No, I guess, I think his stats have been improved a bit. Now, is there like a scholar in Rome? Come on, it's the heart of the ancient civilization stuff. Clearly there are many scholarly scholars in Rome. Called it. 
Paul the Deacon. Hi. Paul the Deacon is a shining beacon for his deaconess. Just got around with this knight. I mean, we have tons of resources. We just don't have the tech we need to click up. Seriously, Rome is inaccessible to the north. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Alright, uh, let's pull you guys back home just to be safe. And because I'll likely be defending later on, I want to make sure that... My relics are all in a good central location. Alright. Charlemagne goes back over there. Paul the Deacon. Uh, I guess we can do that. Need one more scholar. Maybe we'll find a random scholar out in the steps. I don't know if there are four scholars overall. Or, like, there are, like, say, eight scholars on the map, and you just have to find half of them. I wonder if there's anything here. Also, again, why is... I know, again, Sardinia is bigger than Corsica. I know that. But, uh, Sardinia is enormous, and Cor Corsica is just dinky. It's a dinky doodle. Do kind of wish I could, you know, do something a bit more here. No, not that. Get a scout cav to further check out the island there. Minor factions. I have no idea what's going on in that city. <laughs> Yo, dog! <laughs> I heard you like towers! I do wish I knew how exactly I should kill... Parliament. Attacking, but finding a way for him to die while remaining his ally will allow you to seize his territory and army intact. Oh, forgot about you. Guess those are just the forests of Germany. I 
I guess I could try and go after the Saxons. And try and convert the Saxon leaders. That's at least something I can do, I suppose. Also, everybody knows that a random scholar likes to hang out in Sardinia. Hey. And six relics right now, though, which is pretty sick. Okay, well, rip you. Quite the forest we must traverse. Yeah, I mean, these guys don't have any upgrades. I just need to find these Saxon leaders. Up, oh, it's Abby. We got Abby, guys. Uh, I mean, there's some gold over here, which is something, I guess, but not really a whole heck of a lot else. It's Will Widukin. Okay, where are the monks? Come on, there you go. I guess this is Barcelona. I imagine at least the Saxons will become our friendos once we convert their leaders. care about that. You can die, you can die. It's like not a whole lot over here. Kind of this big empty space though. Also, maybe there'll be a random scholar hanging around this forest. Oh, wait. Is there a leader over here? I don't see one. I'm 
their leader over here. Seriously, where the heck is this guy? The other two were easy to find. No, not the boar! <laughs> Oops. Maybe there'll be a scholar in here. <laughs> Feels like I'm just playing Age of Find the Scholar. Or not the scholar. Oh, the assassin leader and the scholar. I need to find both of them. Hesse. Good old Hesse. Way up in the north all by his lonesome. Oh, it's that fortress I couldn't care less about. Also, my ambitions of finding a random scholar in the middle of the forest seem to be unsuccessful. Hey. Um, Pirate? Forgot about the need to transport. Well, that's not really an issue. Anyway, I hope that the Saxons will become our friendos after this. Alright, Harold Hardrada. Olaf! Oh, you guys will see it. All about Olaf. Uh, oh, cool, cool. Are they? Oh, yeah, they're defeated. Alright. Good, good, good. Oh, there's also gold here in the Balearic Islands. Man, I am actually running pretty low on bills. Not that it probably matters very much. Um, anybody? Us looking for some people with book learning. Or lose all about the book learning. I don't even care if the monk with the relic dies. I just need to find... Just need to click to Imp, because I'm not going to be able to fight these guys without Imperial Age.
Ah! Oh boy. Okay, that was the wrong way to go. I mean, you guys are full on post imp. I love how I keep on making and then deleting these transport ships. Really adds to the ambiance of my general confusion in the scenario. Like, I'm sure there's a scholar here in, like, Cordoba somewhere. Or at more like Zaragoza, but... Oh, man. There's one in England? There's one in Aquitaine? There's one in Rome? Maybe I can go destroy this city? Oh. <laughs> so I should have researched heresy a while ago. Don't really need you. Lots of gold I can mine. Didn't miss anything over there. Kate? Considering I obviously can't attack Italy yet, maybe I could beat the Pechen eggs. I mean, they don't really seem to have many upgrades, but... Alright. If this isn't successful, then we're just going to send a bunch of knights down into Italy. Or, uh, into Spain. Uh, a bit of a suicide mission. And now the corgi wants in again. Alright. Hey guys, anything for me? Where is the army I sent? Did I not? But I did. Anyway, I sure don't see any scholars over here. Man, I honestly thought it would be way easier just to find these freaking scholars than it, it is. 
It's like, I, I literally just can't go after these guys. So I can't win the scenario by attacking, because no way I can defeat the Lombards or the Omayids. And it doesn't seem... All right, go over there. And you guys going over here. I mean, not counting water, I have like 90% of the map explored. And in general, I'm a fan of having to explore to find objectives. I'm not a big fan of having everything X'd out for you on the minimap. But it feels like in this case, because the map is so enormous, it would be nice to have more than four scholars. Just because, like, I'm, I'm stuck right now. So long as it remains standing. Ah, okay. Oops. Any scholars here in what looks to be <gasps> where? Seriously? Oh my goodness. Alright, time to click up. I <laughs> like how they just ignore the monks completely. Good old Petrus Grammaticus. Also, once we reach Imperial Age, I'm going to start building the Wonder, and then I'm just going to go freaking kill Carloman here, because it, he's way too OP for... The AI to defeat him, it seems. If we're gonna hit Imp, we have tons of resources. I just find all these towers so funny. Like, you can just see the AI, right? Build towers within X range of this TC. the Aachen Cathedral. It's the, the Britain Wonder. Now, obviously, the units I have here will, like, immediately kill Carloman, but it's more a matter of making sure that if he turns on us, we, we're well enough prepared. Yeah, 
Paladin. Get that. Yeah, screw it. A most convenient death. Okay, yeah, they just become the our enemies now. Avenge me, my brothers, for I cannot. Oh my goodness, those mangonel hits, man. Unfortunately for him, I really don't care. We got the full Frankish compliment here. <laughs> I don't need to be attacking into the, that meat grinder though. Right, that's coming along merrily. We'll just build a bunch more castles around it. I guess Charlemagne doesn't need to survive at this point. But we're not going to take any risks. Oh, well, I mean, that market's eventually going to go down, but I don't really care that much. Oh, wait, literally we just need to build it. Oh. I thought we'd have to defend it. Wait, this that's just way easier than uh, <laughs> going out and defeating everybody. On Christmas Day of the year 800, Charles knelt at an altar in Rome to pray. To his apparent surprise, as he bent his head, the Pope placed a bejeweled crown upon him. He was anointed Emperor of Rome. That felt really short. Like, there just wasn't that much intro. There was very little outro. And, like, it's a scenario that looked really cool, but just ended up playing really slow. Yeah, there's probably another scholar here somewhere. Yeah. I mean, it's very difficult to attack. At least the... I mean, we probably could have just taken down the, uh, the, uh, the Vars without any difficulty. But everybody else, as in yellow and green, like, it's so tough to defeat them in Castle Age. And it's like, by the time you finally find everyone can click up to Imp, you just build the wonder and instantly win. Yeah, it's just a little bit of an odd scenario to me. I mean, like, the map is fantastic. Like, it's cool that, you know, you're building up over here. Carloman, <laughs> with his many towers, is uh, interesting, to say the least. But uh, I guess we did everything. All right, guys, that was Charlemagne768. Hope you enjoyed. Next up will actually be Ragnar. See you guys next time for that one.